In this video, we're going to talk about how to bisect or find the midpoint of a line using a compass and straight edge. So let's say we have this line A, B. And I want to know exactly where is the midpoint. Well, one way to do that is to use circles. And we don't want to draw little circles like this, right? And we are going to, draw, going to draw two circles that are identical, but little circles won't help because they don't reach each other. Right? They don't reach the midpoint and help us out. And also, um, we don't want to draw a circle that goes exactly to the middle because we're trying to find the middle. So that would be nice. I mean, if we could just draw a circle that goes right to the middle of the line and mark that, we'd be done. But we don't know where that middle is. So we got to find it. So what we do is we pick a circle that starts from, let's say, B and goes past halfway, usually about two-thirds. And this just guarantees that the next circle we draw which is, should be identical to this, and I might have a little bit of a hard time on this program. I'm using paintbrush, but we can still estimate. If I do the exact same circle from point A, and it goes two-thirds across the line, it's going to cross our first circle. So let's just draw that. And let me try again. I'm going to make this the best I can there. Okay. All right. So now, um, this diagram is slightly off, but once we have this, notice that the circles cross each other at two points. And that's where we will draw a vertical line at a 90 degree angle to AB, and we're done. Once you have these two circles that intersect, you can draw a vertical line, and this point where that vertical line and AB meet is the midpoint. Let's call that M. So M is the midpoint of AB, line AB, which means it bisects the line AB into two equal pieces, MB and AM. And that's a pretty great way of doing it. Now, what I'm more interested in, excuse me, is why this works. And here's a diagram from Math Open Reference really great website. Notice here these gray lines. What are those? Those are the two circle lines. Um, they don't draw the entire circle because you don't need to. You're just drawing the, the chunks of the circles that we think will intersect each other. And that's really going to help us. Now what they've done is they've, they've drawn these red lines, right? And, and this blue line is that vertical line. And what you might see are, are different triangles here. And in fact, that's how we're going to prove that this point J is in fact the midpoint and that PQ and QP are identical because if PQ, PJ, excuse me, if PJ and QJ are identical then this line is is bisecting PQ and also we're going to show that, that these angles all around here are right angles so we know it bisects the line PQ at a right angle so what do we do? Well, my approach, I, and I would this is pretty similar to what they're saying on Math Open Reference, it's a great way to go about it, is to say, well, this triangle on top, let's show that it's isosceles and congruent to this triangle on the bottom. How can we do that? Well, if all these red lines are called C, I, I want to I actually call them R, because what these red lines really are, are radiuses, radiuses. They're, they're the radiuses from those points, right, of the circles that we drew. And we know they're the same radius because when we're drawing these circles, we're using a compass, and we're not changing the compass. We're drawing two identical circles, so we get identical radiuses, radii. So if that's true, and R and R are radii, then this triangle, P, A, Q, has got to be isosceles, right, because there's two equal sides. In an isosceles triangle, um, these two angles, right, A, P, J, and A, Q, J, are equal, right? The angles that are opposite of the equal sides are also equal to each other. And for all the same reasons, the bottom triangle, triangle P, B, Q, is isosceles. It has two radiuses for its lengths, and the, the angles opposite of those radiuses are equal. And so now we have two, two isosceles triangles. So triangle P, 
AQ, that's the top triangle, PAQ, is and oops, and triangle PBQ are isosceles. But also, triangle PAQ is congruent to triangle PBQ. I, I put an A here, sorry. Why? Because, well, they share the same radiuses, right? So all those corresponding sides are equal, and they share this line in the middle here, PQ. So that has to be the same, right? It's the same line for both triangles. So by side, 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 they'll have correspond three corresponding sides. They're congruent to each other. And next I'm going to look at this left triangle over here, triangle P A B, and how it relates to this triangle Q A B. Now here, again for almost all the similar reasons, um, this triangle on the left we'll start with P A B has two radiuses for its its legs, so it's isosceles. Um, so triangle P A B is isosceles, and this angle angle P A B is is equal to angle P B A. Those angles that are opposite the equal sides are also equal. So the blue dots are equal. And in this triangle over here, this angle equals this angle. Right? They're the angles opposite of these two radii, which means that not only is A Q B isosceles, and not only does Q B A and Q A B, those two angles equal each other, but this triangle on the left, PAB, and this triangle on the right, QAB, are congruent. They both share corresponding sides, these radiuses, and they share a middle side. So by side, 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 triangle PAB is congruent to triangle QAB. So now, overall, we can just sum, sum up these discoveries. If this blue dot is equal to this blue dot, right? This angle is equal to this angle, and they're opposite equal sides here, and these blue dots are opposite these equal sides, and they're equal, then all four blue dots equal each other. And for the same reason, this red dot, this angle over here, is opposite this side, so it's equal to this angle, because which is opposite to this side over here, well, if this red dot is opposite this radius over here, and this red dot is this these two angles are opposite these radiuses over here, all the red dots, all those angles are equal to each other. So I've got a bunch of angles equal to each other, and now what we're going to go for is to show that we, these four small triangles, so this triangle is congruent to this triangle. It's congruent to this triangle and it's congruent to this triangle. So all these triangles here are congruent. How are we going to do it? Well, we've got all the materials we need. Um, let's call this triangle one, two, three, and four. Triangle one and two, why are they congruent? Well, let's just write this down. Triangle one's congruent to triangle two. Well, because, let's look at this. These two blue angles are equal. These two red angles are equal and they share a side over here, and that these sides are equal as well. So there's, there's a couple ways to look at it. Uh, I'm going to say angle side angle right here um, equals this angle side angle. So triangles one and two are congruent. Triangles two and three are congruent. Why is that? Well, triangle two is congruent to triangle three because it's almost the same reasons. These blue angles correspond to each other. They're equal. These red angles correspond to each other, they're equal, and these sides are both radiuses, radii, I guess, and they're equal. So by angle, side, angle, triangles 2 and 3 are congruent. And again, if 2 and 3 are congruent to each other, and 1's congruent to 2, that also means, well, 1 is congruent to 3 as well. So, so far, far if 1's congruent to 2 and 2's congruent to 3, well, then one's also congruent to three. These three triangles are congruent. And one more to go. Let's say triangle one's congruent to triangle four, which is true. Well, 
That's because, again, these two blue angles correspond to each other. They're equal. We proved that before. And these two red angles are congruent. We proved that before. And these two radiuses must be equal. So again, by side angle, um, by angle, side angle, and angle, side angle, triangles 1 and 4 are, are congruent. So all these triangles are congruent to each other. And that means what else? Well, that means that that these angles right, all have to equal each other because corresponding angles of corresponding triangles have to be equal. So if all four angles equal each other, and we know that it has 360 degrees in a full rotation, each angle, right, let's call it angle um, A. No, let's not call it that. Sorry. Angle, um, I don't know what to call this. Let's call it angle, well, it's called by its name, I guess. This is a J right here. So angle A, J, P, and angle A, J, Q, and Q, J, B, and B, J, P all equal each other. So we divide 360 by 4, and each of those angles are 90 degrees. And that means that this vertical line, when we draw this line right here, it hits line P, Q at a 90 degree angle. And furthermore, since all these triangles are congruent, these sides right here, right, their corresponding sides, their corresponding side of, of the triangles. So triangle two and three, are, if they're similar triangles or congruent, excuse me, they're congruent, not simple, well, they are similar, but they're also congruent, which means they're exactly the same, but in different locations, then corresponding sides have to be equal. You might see this in corresponding parts of corresponding triangles or congruent. Just all that means is that if you have two triangles that are congruent to each other, then the sides that they share, right, in, in their relative position have to be equal. So this side has to equal this side, and this side that they share has to be equal. So this side you know, is, is the same in both of these triangles, and this side, PJ, is the same in both triangles 1 and 4. But all these triangles are congruent to each other, so this side has to also equal this side, right? They're, they're corresponding triangles, and these lengths are equal. So not only does this, this vertical line cross at a 90 degree angle, but it bisects our line into two equal parts. And I hope that helps.